Hello again everyone, this is Michael and Jordan. This is our third video in a series about our approach to housing in India. This is specifically about the housing unit. I'm sad to say this is our last video. I hope they were helpful or funny. Or sad too, y'all. In the previous video we discussed the cluster housing approach. Within each cluster, four to six housing units will be organized around a central shared courtyard. Each of these units will be made up of the same set of programs. Three bedrooms, each around 100 square feet, a kitchen around 150 square feet, a living and dining space with a total of 350 square feet, a bathroom unit of 70 square feet, a puja, and a stoop on the front and the back of the house. The initial organization of the programmatic elements was based on the concept of a courtyard house. The courtyard house allows the project to use strategies from sun, wind, and light. The first is locating outdoor rooms. The second is permeable buildings, which includes stack ventilation and cross ventilation. And the third strategy is shady courtyards. This strategy uses the new or existing buildings to shade the courtyard. After the application of passive strategies, the traditional organization for the Indian housing was overlaid. These traditions include a patriarchal bedroom in the southwest, puja in the north section of the house, and for the center of the house to remain open, the Brahmastan. The programmatic elements and the proximities arrange themselves into L-shaped pieces, the first being made up of the social elements, such as the kitchen, dining, and living space. The second bar is those more private programs, the bedrooms and bathroom. The two organizations frame the open center of the house. Every housing unit is designed to have the ability to further expand. The piece of the house containing the bedrooms and bathrooms has the ability to add a secondary floor. This second floor would be connected by the addition of a staircase on the front stoop.